And you said before that um, those with a perfect record are not complete fighters. Absolutely. Tyson has a complete uh, record, a perfect record even. Do you think that you have the competitive edge over him because you unlocked a new form of training having had a lot? Um, it's, it's a little tricky because I don't think he's undefeated, right? Maybe in the combat sport he's undefeated, but uh, from his story, he has some scratches on him, right? So he knows what he's doing, what he's getting to. to. He knows what he fears to, to fall, right? I mean, I'm not just talking inside the ring, I'm talking in life overall. He knows that, so and I think those are usually stuff that people most of the time will consider as a defeat, defeat, which for me is just like a learning process. So I think he has that, he has completed his learning. And you've been credited with having the hardest punch in the world. Deontay Wilder managed to knock Tyson Fury down. Do you think you can follow through and finish him off? I believe that, yes, I can knock him out. Okay, so let me counterpunch Francis Ngono. Francis Ngono is actually talking about Tyson Fury, not what he did inside the ring, what he did out the ring. What he's doing, he's attacking his character. He's talking about the the decisions that he made, okay, outside the ring that affect him inside the ring. You know, he's talking about maybe the Nandrolone and the drug abuse and um, um, the party life his lifestyle. He's thinking about those things, you know? And so he's thinking about like, okay, the, the slick shit that Tyson Fury, the things that he was involved with outside the ring. So in other words, people, Francis Ngono was attacking Tyson Fury's character. That's what he was doing. Cause he's like, okay, well he's undefeated and you know, and he's this and that and he's this good in, inside the ring, but he's taking some L's outside the ring. He has. He has taken L's outside the ring. You know, the three years, I mean, why would you take three years off? You know what I mean? Obviously, something was bothering you to the fact that you took three years off or something told you to take three years or someone told you to take three years off simply because you didn't want to face what was coming at you. Okay, so, you know, like the Klitschko rematch and things like that. He should have took that fight, but he decided to take cocaine. He claimed he had mental health issues, which he very well may have. OK, or have. OK, and um, that's what he's talking about, you know, so the Nandrolone, of course. And um, I don't I don't think he was talking about anything else except for the overall decisions that Tyson Fury's made. And of course, he has the power to knock him out. But a lot of people think because they have power, they're able to knock people out. So that's how France is supposed to think, you know, and then he calls them tricky, tricky to him. You have to understand he's from Cameroon. Tricky means sneaky. Okay, that's what he's mean. Deceitful. You know, um, that's that's me translating Francis Ogono. Tricky. Sneaky. <laughs> that's what he means. He's saying that Tyson Fury is, is sneaky. He's saying that he's questioning the things that he did outside the ring that doesn't really make him um, an undefeated fighter. And by the way, undefeated... You know, if you're per if you have a perfect record, a draw is not a perfect record. That means you've just never been defeated in a national fight, but you haven't won every fight that you've been in there with. OK, so I have to catch myself a lot of times. You know, I do say, well, hey, he beat Deontay Wilder three times because the masses believes he won that fight boxing wise. And I think he won that fight boxing wise. But officially, officially, people, that is a draw. OK, and that gave him the first imperfection on his record. OK, so. But that has nothing to do with Francis Ngono. But when I was reading it, that's what I thought of. OK, well, maybe he's talking about that. And if he was talking about that, I thought that was a bit nitpicky because it's like, OK, it's a draw still. You know what I mean? No one lost. No one won. You know, I think it's the best thing that could happen, especially when you get your ass whooped. You know, that's the best case scenario. When you get beat, you get a draw. You get it. That's a true gift. OK, that's like a Canelo Golovkin won. OK, so uh, that's how I look at that, you know, Um but yeah, it seems to me like Francis is, you know, um, calmly playing mind games right before the storm. And he's, um, 
basically attacking the character of Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Francis Ngannou stating that Tyson Fury is not a defeated champion or fighter. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!